Hey YouTube, in this video we are going to learn how to make use of batch commands. In the previous video we have learned that to print something we can make use of echo command. And now let's learn how to get the version of the operating system you are currently running the CMD. For that just type ver then save the script now let's run the script yes we got the version of the windows to know the current directory of the batch file you can use the command cd capital c and d let's save and run this yes we got the current directory where the cmd file is placed so here the directory is c users gamer onedrive desktop to move one level up that is to onedrive we can use the syntax cd dot dot let's save it now let's run the script here you can see the directory was users gamer onedrive desktop and after using the command cd dot dot it got moved one level up that is to the folder onedrive if you want to change the directory to a specific location you can provide that location after this cd here i am going to create a new folder batch i'm gonna copy this address and going to paste it over here let's save the script and run it the first line is the output of this cd then we have changed the directory and the last directory that is c users gamer onedrive desktop batch is the output of this cd command now let's learn about choice command the choice command helps the user to select an option for that the syntax is choice space then forward slash c then space then the choices here y and c implies yes no and cancel let's save and run the script yes we got yes no and cancel you can add a message before suggesting the choices for that the syntax is forward slash m then the message here i am passing a message press y for yes n for no and c for cancel let's run the script you can see the message over here press y for yes n for no or c for cancel then the choices here the user can press an option now the script move to the next line of code that is pause if you don't want to show the options y and c you can add a forward slash n after the options let's run the script now we can see only the message not the options if you want to add a timer for option selection then you can use the syntax forward slash t then the time since we are using timer we have to add a default choice for that the syntax is forward slash d then the choice let's save and run the script let's see after five seconds the script selects the option no yes the script selected the option no if you want to make your selection case sensitive then you can use the syntax forward slash cs since we have used forward slash cs the user should enter y n or c in capital letters if not the script won't accept it and we'll be able to hear a beep sound for just testing maybe we can increase the timer seconds now i am going to initiate the script i am going to enter the options in small letter let it be y yes i think you can hear the sound right the beep sound now i am going to enter the option in capital letter y yes the script got executed if you have any doubts regarding choice commands what you can do is just open a command prompt and type choice forward slash question mark then press enter you will be able to see all the parameters that we have learned regarding the choice command 